Welcome to this, this edition of NXT, ladies and gentlemen. We're being joined here with the new NXT. Where we're going to be de debuting a bunch of new stars tonight. And oh boy, here he is, ladies and gentlemen. And he is Adam Casey. And hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, it is I, it is your awesome guy, Row 99. And here comes Adam Casey. Adam Casey, yeah. Uh, this is a new talent showcase. We're gonna get, we're gonna get to see guys that we've never seen before, and also guys that haven't been seen since the tournament. So, Adam Casey, it's gonna be Welcome starting things off NXT, for us. What do you think about Adam Casey? Hmm? Uh, Brett, what what do you think about Adam Casey on your first look? What do you think about Adam Casey on your first look? I think he's a bit nice high flyer. Oh, we know this guy. He's a big dude for a high flyer too. It's it's Cedric Alexander. Yep, Cedric Alexander down on NXT. Let's see what he can do tonight. Oh, of course, the NXT stage, so it doesn't show my thing. Okay. It is Mark Gold, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Gold Dynasty. What your is your impressions? I've on heard that? about this dude, but I've I've heard about this dude, but I've never seen him before. So let's see what he can uh, actually do. I gotta say, his attire is uh, kind of sore on the eyes, so it's really bright. This guy has no entrance music. Do we know this guy? I I don't know. I'm guessing he's from Chicago, though. What's his name? Jay Santana. What's his name? Jay Santana. Jay yeah, Santana. Like an interesting look to him, definitely. Yeah, he has an interesting look. By the way, let's let's talk about something here. Yep. Brett. Yep. Did you watch SmackDown? Yes. Then you would see that I picked up a huge win against Kevin Owens. Oh boy! Oh boy! Don't get that stuff. You've been watching the SmackDown product. Yeah, if you watch the SmackDown product. I know, I was, actually, I was in the crowd. Yeah, to officially reign my dominance and prove that I am better in every way than Kevin Owens. Yeah, well, it didn't help you gave him two crappy partners. Um... Heath Slater was actually the last guy in that match, so I don't know what you're talking about. Two crappy partners. Now here we go. We are underway here at this match. I think we just saw Mark Gold fall right on his ass. Nope. Oh. oh my god, the strength. Oh, but Cedric Alexander, what a counter. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. Wow. But Mark Gold rolls him up instead. Oh, Cedric kicked out at two. What a... What a way to start off this NXT event, ladies and, and gentlemen. Yep, Cedric Alexander, Mark Gold going at it, and Adam Casey and Jay Santana are going at it. And Jay, Jay Santana's, Santana's climbing up. Dude. He's a tall dude. Oh, what a leg drop into a pinfall. That One, could be it. Two. Oh, Adam Casey kicked out. Oh, you see that flip from Gold. Someone g oh, yeah. Gold size doing a... Doing a... A standing shooting star press. Adam Casey right now. He's getting destroyed by Jay Santana. Oh, Jay Santana. He's already sent up for finisher? What? And, oh my god. Ladies Doesn't and like, that be it. everybody do that move? <laughs> One. Broken up by Cedric Alexander. Oh! Just 
did his finisher to him. Oh, 630 ah, splash. 630 splash. Adam Casey. Poor Adam Casey, man. He's been down pretty much his whole match. Oh, what a kick. Oh, double knees right to the head, face there. And Cedric Alexander. He's going. I don't know what he's going. Could he be going for something special ladies and here, ladies and I don't know, but it look, Adam Casey is out cold in the middle of that ring. Oh, Santana, big belly to belly. And he threw, he threw Cedric over Adam Casey. And he's going for a pump handle slam. Mark Gold, big. Adam Casey, man. He, uh, he came in here looking impressive, One, but he hasn't really two. done anything. Oh, Casey kicked out. Oh, yeah, Casey to kick the referee right in the gut. Adam Adam Casey doing the smart thing and rolling out of that ring. Will that be the last time we see Adam Casey in this match? Oh! The referee's down, though. Referee's down. Light drop. Oh! The oh I thought Cedric was going to do something, but he didn't end up doing it. Cedric Alexander throws him into the corner. It's like these two are double teaming gold. Back yeah, it looks like it. Back Adam Casey, back. Adam Casey getting right back in the ring, but getting nothing done. And now it's the Gold Dynasty. Here he is. Right by the, oh no, reversal. Adam Casey has to do something here. Here we go. Adam Casey, he's not he a very big guy. Gut check or whatever. No, that's not gut check. I don't know what that is. <laughs> that was a, just a gut breaker. Adam Casey, though, he's not a very big guy at all. He's very small. He might be the smallest competitor we have on NXT. Two. Oh, gold kicks out. Who do you think is going to win this match, Brett? I got to put my money on the Gold Dynasty. I got to... Of course you do. I've seen pictures on the internet of you and Mark Gold. I don't know what you're talking about. I've seen them on Instagram. I see them all the time. I still have... You guys, taking a, you guys taking a picture outside the Performance Center? Yeah. And I also took a picture with a bunch of other superstars. Yeah, we all know that you and Mark Gold are best friends. Come on now. I don't know what your your heart crack. No, apparently last last night on SmackDown though, uh, Dirty Deeds was on some alcohol. Oh. oh what Cedric kidding? almost picking up that win against Adam Casey. Yeah, I also watched, and he said that that was a joke over five hundred times. You didn't listen to him. Or sorry, Tommy Hero didn't hear listen to him. I don't know. Oh, man. Cedric rolling out of the ring there, and this could be it right now. He was hit with the finisher. Oh, he's still kicked out. He was hit by... Oh, I remember what he was hit by. He was hit by uh, Cedric's move. Yeah, the lumbar check. Oh, Adam Casey, man, he hasn't really gotten too much offense in this match. Just when you say that, he gets a bunch of, he gets offense. I know, I, I jinx everything. So yeah, I heard on your on your YouTube channel that you're gonna be possibly reacting to some content from this channel. Yeah, um, probably will. Uh, and in due time, maybe after the NXT episode, who knows? Maybe. I honestly don't care. Much I do care because I need some support for Raw because Raw is falling downhill. But one, two, Santana kicks out, ladies and gentlemen. Mark Gold no. enters the ring. Re-enters now. There we go. Playmaker. No, I think Cedric was trying to do something there, but Mark Gold screwed it up. Off the ropes. Enziguri! Well, actually, that's a Shining Wizard. No, wait. That's an Enziguri. You're right. Oh! Oh! You, oh! What did you see that? Wow! Adam Casey showing up. 
awesome agility, but this might be oh brain buster. It's but a I don't care, see man. Oh, I thought that was a brain buster. Sorry. Three amigos. Man, they're teaming up on Adam Casey right now. Jay Santana re-enters the ring. Not for very long, though. Oh, never mind. Adam Casey went swinging. Oh, you see that. Oh, now it's just Jay Santana left in the ring all by himself. I think his, what he wanted to do was pin Adam Casey. But it really didn't work. Adam Casey's out cold, though. He's not getting up, I don't think. Well, it kind of is, but... He is getting up. He's, he's stirring. Also, we had some Adam people Casey, rank the Adam shows. Casey. I, yeah. And Adam Casey NXT had to be receiving the big speed show. down. Yeah. SmackDown second best and Raw third best. So, I'll talk to Raw general manager and I'll make him fix that. Because I watch Raw, I watch SmackDown. Oh, GTS! He should call it the GTG. Go to gold. They haven't established names yet. I don't know. Oh! Adam Casey, the small dude! He's like a midget compared to Mark Gold. Oh, go for a special reversal from Santana! Man, Cedric hasn't had too much luck. Every time he tries to gather something up, he's knocked out. Same with Adam Casey. Mark Gold and Santana have really been the ones getting all the offense in this match. Leg drop! That could be it right there. One. That could be a beautiful two, leg drop. Three. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Santana picks up the victory with that big diving leg drop. Mark Gold. Mark. That, that's intense. Mark Gold. I don't, I don't think Mark Gold and Adam Casey were paying attention to I think they were, they were too busy beating up each other to notice the pinfall. I think they were in La La Land. Yeah, they were knocking each other silly. And Jay Santana. You know, we could see, maybe in the future, we could see the future NXT champion. Definitely. He's definitely right. proven right, himself. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our next matchup. I don't give in, I don't give in, it's been glorious. Alright ladies and gentlemen, it is Bobby Roode, the man who was in the NXT tournament. And intentionally disqualified himself against the NXT championship winner, the tournament <laughs> winner in Cody Rhodes. So Bobby Roode could be seeing himself with the NXT championship. Brett, Brett. Brett, I'm sorry, but if you interrupt me, if you interrupt Road 99 one more time, I am going to slap your eyeballs out of your head. I apologize. What were you going to say, Mr. 99? I was going to say exactly what you were going to say. You just butt in and took the sentence right out of my mouth. But yes, let's see what Bobby Roode can do here tonight. As we heard, and he's if facing off against a new competitor. Yeah, and if, yeah, if he'll face off against this new competitor and actually do the match... Or will he find another cheap tactic out of the match? Let's see. Let's see his opponent. That's entrance music. That's some interesting entrance music. Oh my god. Oh. Look at this shiny dude. Who's this guy? This guy looks interesting. Pagano. That's his name, Pagano. He looks very interesting, and uh, who knows what he can do. He's one of the few masked guys we have here. Him and Grand Matalik. I believe that's it. What's what's the new guys? The masked guys. That's Pagano oh. and Grand, Grand Matalik. Yeah, and, and Crazy oh. Killer. And Crazy Killer. We haven't seen him since the tournament finals. I hope he's okay. No, we saw him. We saw him against Bobby Fish. Oh yeah, that's right. Where he lost. I think uh, Crazy Killer's been off his game a lot since he lost that tournament final. Oh, okay. because he lost he to Cody. The mask, as you could see, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. And he, oh my God, that's a big mohawk. 
That kind of looks like that's kind of looks like your intercontinental champion's mohawk, except less color. Yeah, that, this one's a lot more colorful. Looks like he uh, he went through a circus. Yeah, but he looks like a deadly predator, though. Yeah. Well, so does Seamus. He looks like a great white Irish shark. Why do you make fun of Seamus? Uh, no, I mean, like, he's a shark as and he's vicious, too. Yeah. But I I can joke around with my buddies. I can joke around with them. They know I'm just kidding. Yeah, you're just using them just so you don't have Kevin Owens by yourself, but that's okay. Uh, that's not true. That's exactly Kevin true. Owens. Kevin Owens was already beat by me. I don't need to prove anything else. I beat Kevin Owens, and I showed my dominance over Kevin Owens. And you know what? I was in uh, that match Bobby busting Roo's my ass all the time. Out. Did Bobby Roode just stand there? Yeah. Yet again, ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Roode does not want to have a match. I think he noticed how dangerous Pagano is, and I don't think he wanted to be in the match. No, Bobby Ladies and gentlemen... Bobby Roode's going to need to explain himself for these last couple matches that he's finished really early on. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Bobby Roode has a mic. Let, what is it, let's see what he's going to say. I'm not going to face anybody in NXT anymore. Tonight, I will be battling nobody. And by the way, I've just been I've got informed before this match that I will be appearing exclusively on Monday Night Raw so I don't have to face against you jokes again. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Bobby Roode, did Bobby Roode just sign with Raw? Row 99. Row 99. No comment. Alright. Oh, that was a, that was kind of a quick matchup. Bob Roode get himself in tech to count out. We'll see you guys in the final matchup in the main event. Ladies and gentlemen, right. it is now time for a main event. Yeah, here we go. After that really short uh, match building up to the main event, uh, hopefully this match is a lot longer and a lot better. But uh, here's uh, here's one of our new guys. I believe his name is Jose Young. Yes, that is correct. Do you know anything about Jose Young? And if so, could you uh, could you educate me? I don't know. I, I I know he got signed from. I know he got signed from Ring of Honor. That's all I know. Okay. Well, definitely this could be interesting. I don't know. Jose uh, Young. Bobby Roode gets himself intentionally counted out. What do you got to say about that? Uh, I just think he's... I think he realized how, um... How ferocious his part, uh, his opponent was. I don't remember his name. Pa pa Penago? Penago? I don't know. That, that, that dude. Anyways, Pe I think he realized Pe how, how much... Off it. Oh, off yeah. Pego, Pego. Penago. Yeah, Pango. Um... Anyways, I think he realized how good he was, oh, and he, I think he, he just... Do you see Jose Young's uh, tights? He's got two women on him. Oh, damn. So he's a ladies' man. Well, that that, that looks like a top guy. Let's see who his opponent is, though. And it, oh, boy. It's Kenny what? Omega, ladies and gentlemen. He was in high, high, high demand. Definitely. And now he's here. Jose Young, Kenny Omega. Let's get this main event match underway. Here we go. Oh my god. Jose Young, very tall man. Look at the ladies on his thing. Yeah, I know. He's definitely a ladies man. Oh, he even has ladies on the behind as well. Okay, come on. We're, we're watching through the corner cam right now, guys. We don't need to look at your buttocks, Jose. 
All right, let's switch maybe cameras. Just... All right, now we maybe have the just... ring view. Now we can just see the match, All right? And here we go. Oh, no, reversal. Oh, into a huge pullback face buster. Wow. But Jose Young, right back to his feet. Jose Young is a big dude. Compared to Kenny Omega, definitely. One of the biggest dudes I think I've seen on NXT so far. Yeah, Kenny Omega looks like a little ant compared to Jose Young. But we know Kenny Omega can fight. He put on one hell of a battle against Okada. He was sadly eliminated in the first round, but Dude, he's high still a fighter. Demand, he got signed to NXT. Yep. Dude, a high demand. Well, technically, he, he was already signed though. Him and Okada were already signed. Yeah, everyone right. from that turn, everyone from that tournament was signed. Even, even Buff Bagwell. Unfortunately, he's he's not very fun to work with. <laughs> I don't know. He. Put on a good match in the tournament. He had a decent showing against, uh, Eric Young. Was it, I believe it was Willie Wheeler. No, it was Eric Young. Eric Young, yeah. He, uh, he put on a good like showing, and it was actually... Had, uh, yeah. Oh, right into the corner, and he holds on to him after he goes into the corner. Oh, my God. And another one into the corner? Oh! Oh! Man. The hit off the rope, though. That's it. Kenny Omega has to be out cold. One one moment I remember specifically from uh, the tournament, and I can never get it out of my head, is uh, Wesley Wheeler versus Tomohiro Ich Ishi. Yeah. And that move that move where Ishi got hit with a pile kick, and he went up against the ropes, and his like hands went out, and he was like out cold for a minute. Yeah. Could Omega be going for his finisher already? No, big reversal. Oh, yeah. Oh, but Kenny Omega keeps the uh, keeps the offense on his side. Not for long though. This this match is crazy. Jose Young. I wonder if he's uh, if he's the son of Eric Young. Unlikely. Well, Eric Young is in his twenties. No, he's not. Oh, I don't know. Eric Young's like m early mid thirties. So you're saying that he had a possible child at ten? Yep. I don't know. They managed to maybe, somehow maybe, maybe the maybe the long lost cousin of Eric Young. Yeah, the long lost cousin. There we go. Frankenstein. Oh, Frankensteiner! That could be it. That could be it. Kenny Omega could be out cold. Oh, Kenny Omega! Oh. oh, what a kick to the side of the head Big there. James Aguri. One for kick reversal. Oh! Oh! Another Insiguri. It seems like these Insiguris are really keeping down Jose Young. Again, Jose Young, man, he's a big dude. Imagine this guy being NXT champion, man. I don't think he he would be stopped. Oh no! What is he? What is he going for? The knee! Oh! You what a that knee, knee to the head! Did you see that knee? I think Jose Young's out cold. I One, think he's knocked out. Two. Oh! I thought that knee knocked Wait. out Jose. Same here. I thought Jose was out cold. But no, he manages to fight. What the? Oh. Oh, you see that counter from Omega. Man, this match is intense. This is a great match, ladies and gentlemen. And this is the reason why it was the main event. Jose Young is definitely a prospect. Uh, I haven't seen anything from him, but I'm very impressed. Uh, I've heard you've, you've seen a little bit of him, haven't you, in Ring of Honor? Yes. Yeah, and he, he was pretty good then, right? There. Yeah. And, of course, yeah. Kenny I Omega... He take, I remember he t took the last couple years off due to a knee injury. But once I oh. contacted him to join WWE, he's like... I'm in. Oh! Well, it seems like the knee's holding up fine, so that's good. Here we go, taunting. I'm not going to diss too much on the taunting because I, di I, uh, I harped on Cody Rhodes for that, and the guy went to go win the tournament and become NXT champion, so I'm not going to harp too much on the taunting. Not anymore, yeah. Oh, my goodness, though. Uh, that was that was like the best. Oh, oh my God! A back suplex into a neck breaker. That could be it right there. One, two. Oh, this why this is the main event, ladies and gentlemen. We're seeing two men 
putting on a classic. Yeah, Kenny Omega. He already is a uh, power uh, saying, bomb. He's already uh, saying that he is the future of NXT. Kick out! Oh, it's a Boston Crab. Could that be it for the newcomer? No. What it's are your thoughts? Oh. What are your thoughts on that, Brett? What? On Kenny Omega stating that he is the future. Of what? Of NXT? NXT? Yeah. Oh, that's good. That could be it. One. Two. Oh! But, but yeah, what are your thoughts on him saying that? That he's the future of NXT? Well, first, he's got to get past Cody Rhodes to become the, the future. Well, actually, first, actually, first he's got to get past Jose Young. Oh, it's a German suplex. Cause ho oh, and another one. Jose He's Young is, cer is certainly not backing down. Oh, the third one, head first into the ropes. Oh, standing shooting star press. Wow. A big guy like him hitting a shooting star press. That guy's got to be, a what, 260 pounds? A 206-foot-five a shooting star press, no, nonetheless. <laughs> Standing yep. shooting star press. Yeah, even even more impressive. But both of these guys, they're uh, these could be two guys that could be the future of NXT. Definitely. Jose Young. We've seen lots of new guys today, and every guy so far, even uh, even the short little appearance by that masked freak. Oh, Dana uh, Hurricane Rada. You see, you saw that counter earlier. I think. He he was going for a power bomb and he missed. And oh, uh -oh. An electric chair this could be it. Electric chair German suplex. Oh, that could be it right there, ladies and gentlemen. That could be it. One, two. Oh, Jose Young count kicked out. I thought that was I don't it. Think, I don't think Kenny Omega can believe it that he has kicked out of that move. Kenny Omega just went all out there, and it didn't work. Oh, my God, the big man moving like a cruiserweight. You don't see that too often. No, you definitely don't. Jose Young. Oh, Phoenix Splash! No! Kenny Omega moving that might, out of the that way. Might have cost, that might have cost Jose Young the match right there. That might have cost him the match. Definitely. Let's go for it. That could be it. This could be it. Omega Dragon! Oh! I think that's what it's called. One. What'd you. Two. Oh! He kicked out! Oh! My god! Uh, uh, Jose is that Young! The Omega Driver? Yes, the Omega Driver. Alright, I was right. Alright, I just wanted to make sure. Man, Kenny Omega cannot put Jose Young down. I know. Power bomb. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. That's it. That's gotta be it. He caught. He got caught doing the. Help it, doing the Bullet Club taunt, and now, come on, guys, you should learn that taunt and don't work. I don't know. Like I said, Cody Rhodes went to have went on the whole tournament, and he was very taunty during the whole tournament. No, the last thing I remember, he was only taunty during Eric Young match. From yeah, but I he remember. still won it. Yeah. Oh, pedigree. A variation of the pedigree, ladies and gentlemen. That could be it. One, two. Oh my god, Kenny Omega kicked out. This is an insane main event. This match is great. I don't think we've had a match this great since the, the tournament. No, we haven't seen a good, a excellent match like this since the finals. There's been good matches, but there hasn't been like a six-star match a six since the tournament. five-star match, yeah. Wait, that don't make sense. Yep, Dave Meltzer does it all the time. As you see, Kenny Omega's gushing blood from his face. I yep. think he, I think he was cut open after that uh, that pedigree there. Falcon Arrow. Back to the end. 
who's that young, the big man, he's getting tired. Yeah, he's been doing cruiserweight moves, but he is a big guy, so he can get gassed pretty quick for doing those kind of stuff. And him being tired almost got Kenny Omega back to his feet. It kind of gave Kenny Omega some time to relax, and oh, here we go with these German suplexes again. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, that third one! Did you see Omega's head? Yeah, Omega might be dead. But no, he stays alive. For now. Oh, oh Jose he's Young, he's oh, a beast. Oh no, he's going for it again. The pedigree, this is it. Hurricane Rana from Jose! You mean by Kenny? I meant by, by Omega. Sorry, ladies He's and gentlemen. Bubble. I apologize. Bubble to the head. I apologize for my blunder. So, that's all good. People make mistakes. You know what else was a mistake? Main event on Eye on Television. Oh, he moved out of the way. You know what else was a mistake? Kevin Owens being born. So what do you have planned for him since he will be facing the Raw Champion at Bragging Rights? Well, when is Bragging Rights again? In three weeks. Four weeks. I highly doubt Kevin. I highly doubt Kevin will be champion. I highly doubt Kevin will be champion by then. Oh, so you're going to have him face Bojo Rawley for a title match soon. Oh, another kick out from that electric chair drop suplex. I don't know who's going to win this match, ladies and gentlemen. This match has been intense. It's been crazy. Now I see why people demand Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega, yeah, he did. He put on a great match against Okada, and he's doing it again tonight. Oh, he's going for it again. This could Omega be it, Driver, second one. That should be it, ladies and gentlemen. Omega. There's no way Jose, one, Jose Young's going to kick out of two, two of those. three. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Kenny Omega. What a match. Picks up the what big victory match. with a, a whole bunch of blood in his face as well, nonetheless. Yeah. Ho Jose, Jose Young definitely put on... Definitely impressed me, though. Definitely. All the new guys tonight were really impressive. And I'm very happy Except that we really signed. Adam Casey. <laughs> Adam Casey did okay, you know. Yeah. He had it. He he had a short moment. It was just that he was the smaller guy in that match, and everyone was using that their power advantage over him. You know. Well, that was a great NXT event, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed. And now it is time for the post show. The post show is only be like five minutes this time, though, so we don't want to yeah. make another. We might we take make... a look. We might take a look at two special dark matches that happened. Possibly. Come in. We are here for the post show. Yep. Alright, we're going to talk about the card itself and then uh, quickly talk about two dark matches that were not shown on televi uh, that were televised. All so, right, do you want to talk about that? First match of yep. the Club Brian Kendrick versus Team Ryosho Ishii. Tomohiro Ishii. Close enough, though. Yeah, it was a it was a brutal match. You know, we had the high flying versus the power. And the pyro, and, uh, pyro, 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 the power, power overcame. Yeah, the power overcame the the high flying ability of Brian Kendrick, and uh, Ishii picked up a win, and uh, that's just another win in his column for now. Wow. Panda and we had uh, Defeated Pentagon. Bobby Fish. Yeah, Bobby Fish. You know, Bobby Fish has had a... He's pretty... I've had a decent career so far here on uh, NXT. He's had some wins. He's had some losses. And uh, tonight was just a fact of... Uh, it was a brutal contest. And uh, Pentagon was just a better man that night. Well, these are the televised matches. We're going to recap. Jay Santana... Pinned Cedric Alexander in the middle of the ring after a diving leg drop. Yep. And uh, Mark Gold and Adam Casey were too busy they were striking each the other. Of the ring. Yeah. And they just didn't but, notice Santana about the pin. Yeah, they're too busy with each other to notice the pinfall. 
Well, and then we saw, alright, replace Adam Casey with, uh... Yeah, there, um, our stupid, uh, producer messed this up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we had P Pangano? Pangano. Yeah, Pang and he faced Bobby Roode, and Bobby Roode just stood outside the ring for the 10 count. Yeah, it was a very quick matchup. And yeah, very quick. This, is, this is out of character for a moment, ladies and gentlemen. We did have a segment after the sh during, after that match, but it's going to be edited out, so you don't know what it's going to say, so just, just, just letting you guys know. Alright. And then let's move on to the main event here. And that oh, amazing main event. Yep. The uh, debuting Jose Young, uh, who turned out to be very a very big guy. He had to be six foot five at least. Put on six foot one six. of the best matches since the NXT tournament. Yep, him and Kenny Omega. And uh, Kenny Omega, of course, was highly recommended to be on the NXT episode. And now we see and why. Us, at the, uh, us at the universe mode WWE, we actually listened to the fans. And uh, we gave you guys what you wanted. So Kenny Omega had a match, and he... Uh, he showed why he should be booked more on NXT. Alright, that was the show, ladies and gentlemen. Well, ladies and, and gentlemen, hold on. I'm just gonna announce else. some I'm gonna announce something really quick for next week on NXT and one more thing for SmackDown. If okay. you don't mind. Alright, and hold on. One one other one other thing. For NXT. Alright. Cody Rhodes. alright, right, Cody Rhodes will be taking on a newcomer. Devo Park to get ready for his match with Wesley Wheeler at TakeOver. That was my, that's my announcement for NXT. Alright. My announcement is that there will be a cru NXT Cruiserweight ch uh, Championship Network Tenders match. Uh, I'm not going to tell you who's going to be in it yet. It, but all, I, they will. all I know is that it's a triple threat. Yeah, it's triple threat, and it's going to be for Kota Ibushi's intercontinental, uh, I'm going to say intercontinental, cruiserweight title that he holds on to. I thought that was held by Sheamus. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. And then, uh, a big SmackDown announcement, ladies and gentlemen. A big SmackDown announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, it's already been announced that, uh, this coming week, Heath Slater will face... Braun Strowman. Uh, Braun Strowman and Shinsuke will face. I don't know. Shinsuke will face Sheamus. Yeah. You yeah, Shinsuke will face. Because Shinsuke. You get it? You yeah, Shinsuke, James Ellsworth, will be facing Sheamus. And, and guess what? I am so generous that I'm putting the IC title on the line. Yeah. But also, ladies and gentlemen, you guys already know all that. Also. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Owens is being put in a two-on-one handicap match against The Ascension. Oh, that's not good. Because The Ascension missed out on the beatdown, so I gotta give them a little bit of, uh... Alright, I just have and a then, quick uh, question the, for you. Oh, hold on. The, the fourth and final match, which will be the main event for SmackDown, it will be... Alberto Del Rio. Yep. And hold on one second, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. It will be Alberto Del Rio, Daniel Bryan, Chris Jericho, and The Miz in a fatal four-way. And whoever wins that will get a future title shot uh, either the Intercontinental or World Title. Wow. Okay. All right. Also, I got one announcement for Raw. I'd like to talk to you, Road 99, about that. All right. All right. So, your commentator, Tommy Dreamer. To Tommy Hero. Tommy Hero. I would like for him to appear on Monday Night Raw for one night only to commentate. Huh. You'll, you get let me paid. text. You let, get... let me let me text. Let me text Tommy right now.
Okay, he said he said uh, I'd be honored to. You would be honored to? Yeah. All right. Good to know. Which I don't understand why people would be honored to go to a Raw show, but whatever. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode of NXT. We sure as hell did, and we'll see you guys next time.